Oh boy, what has he got now? Greetings, the Astro 30 here. I've got this little 5 watt practice amp. Now this apparently is a G5 and this comes as a combo with an electric guitar which you can buy from Kmart. Now to you US viewers that uh, basically means a Walmart. Uh, it's Australia's answer to a Walmart where you can buy all sorts of random crap for your home. Basically crap you don't need. Not sure what the cost of the combo was. Probably about 200 bucks. I wouldn't expect any more than that. Pretty basic. Just has an input a gain control, uh, the preamp in out, so this gain doesn't do anything if it's out, uh, a main volume control, a tone control, a headphone socket, a DC 9 volt adapter socket, that's a, I think it's a 2.5 millimeter center, and it's negative center, not positive, and a power switch. And on the back, just as featureless, We've got a compartment here for a 9 volt battery. Now I do know it works, but as Dave Jones from EV Blog says, don't plug it in, take it apart. So that's what we're going to do. Now the only way that I can see into this is through this back panel, these four screws here, because the only screws on top are for these corner protectors, and I don't think the chassis comes out that way. So I'll undo these four screws and we'll see what we can find. Now this is already out of its warranty period, so I don't have to worry about voiding any warranties or anything. I just got to be fairly careful because this 9 volt battery compartment is only screwed on the outside and there'd be wires on the inside that are probably hardwired to the circuit board. I don't want to pull on this back panel too hard in case I rip the wires out, which is only the battery compartment. I mean, it's not that much of a great issue. I don't think there's a screw in there. No, there's not. Uh, excuse my sniffing, I've got an allergy or something, actually. Okay, this is looking really promising. I can't even get into it. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. Yep, just as I thought. Single circuit board design, pretty cheap looking PCB. There's the battery wires being hardwired to the board. At least I think they're hardwired, or is it plugged into a socket? No, it looks like it's hardwired. There is a socket here, which is just out of frame. There is a plug socket here, but that goes to the power switch. And I can see now how that front panel comes off. So you don't really need to take the back off, but I did anyway. Uh, it's pretty basic 8 ohm 3 watt speaker. Uh, it's about 100 mil. I reckon it's around about the 100 mil mark. And it's not even put in there straight. When you look at the ang gap here compared to the gap here, the gap here and here, and here and here, it's on an angle. So that's really good build port quality. But there is base reflex holes, one here and one just out of frame, which is interesting. So I don't really need to take the back off to get to the circuit board so I can put this back on and actually take the two screws out either side and take the panel off. Now watching the Astro 30 undo screws, very exciting. Getting that to align back up might be an issue but I've left the back unscrewed so I can get back in there if I have to. That's one. Surprised there's only like two screws holding this in. You'd expect like four to keep it, you know, square. Uh, anyway, it is what it is, I suppose. Take that one out. I'll take that cup washer off the other side before that gets lost. No, it uh, does not want to come off, so it can stay there. Yeah. Will this come forward? No, it will not. Does it go backwards? No, it does not. Okay. Okay, I figured it out. It slides out backwards, not forwards. That's why it wouldn't come out. 
And what are we stuck on? Well, okay. This is not going so well. Oh, there we go. A little bit of fiddling and farting around in there, so circuit board born. Oops. Yeah, that was going to be a problem to start with. I'll leave him there. This back panel is so annoying. Anyhow, there's our op amp for the preamp stage. That's a JRC 558D. I'll have to look that one up. And right here would be our power amplifier I see. However, I cannot see what numbers are on it because well, pin one's, pin one's over here, and the writing would be on the other side where I can't see it. So, off camera, I'm going to move some components around, just see if I can get a number off of it. Okay, apparently it's an AN7112. So I'll look up the data sheet for that if one exists. I'll also look up the data sheet for that op-amp, but it'll be a bog standard op-amp. I mean, there's not really much to this circuit. It's a fairly basic looking design. It's kind of really cheap Chinese EM quality build. Um, yeah, everything's hardwired to the board except for the power switch, which does unplug for some reason. Why you wouldn't have a connector for the battery uh, cable coming off here to the back panel so you could disconnect the back panel because it is annoying. And also don't have a connector for the speaker so you could disconnect that. I don't know what all this black rubbish is. But yeah, you don't ha even have a connector for the speaker even though the footprint looks like it's for a connector. But then again, yeah, it's built on the cheap. So there's not really much to look at in here. Now this amp is supposed to be purported at delivering 5 watts. But it's only got a 3 watt speaker in it. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, I'm going to put this back together now and we're going to look at some data sheets. Well, this is interesting. The AN7112 is only a half watt audio power amplifier. So it's nowhere near 5 watts at all. Um, it has a wide operating supply voltage between 4 volt and 14 volt. Low quiescent current of about 15 MA, that's at a VCC of 6 volt and a load impedance of 8 ohms. So it's a very basic monoral power amplifier. And there's their basic test circuit or implementation circuit. So this would be a half watt class A amplifier, judging by this 470 microfarad output capacitor here. So yeah, it's nowhere near the mythical 5 watt that they reckon it can output. Well, that's what it says on the packaging of the guitar. It says, with a 5 watt practice amplifier. Yeah, nah. And there's its actual implementation circuit or application circuit, which is pretty much similar to the test circuit. But yeah, it's still nowhere near 5 watts. And here is the JRC 4558D or 4559 and JRC just stands for Japanese Radio Company it's a general purpose dual operational amplifier uh, pretty much a bog standard operational amplifier and it says combining the features of an NJM741 with the close parameter matching and tracking of a dual device on a monolithic tip results in unique performance characteristics there's the equivalent circuit inside the op amp that's showing just one channel. Uh, supplier of voltage is 18 plus minus volts maximum. Differential input voltage is a plus minus 30 volt maximum. Because over here is the pinout and it's pretty much a standard dual inline operational amplifier pinout. So it'll fit in place of any dual inline operational amplifier that's 8 pins. Um, supply voltage should be pin 4 should be the negative and 8 should be the positive respectively and your 
one side's inputs 3 and 2 for positive and minus respectively, one's the output, same as 5 and 6 is positive and negative input on the second channel, and 7 is the output. Pretty basic stuff. They also do have a single inline package available for it, but yeah, the standard 8 pin dual inline is pretty much normal. So that's it for this piece of crap so called 5 watt practice amplifier. More like half watt. Anyway, question is does it still work after I've messed around with it? Let's find out. <laughs> Yeah, it still works. Um, the reason the, that's distorting is because this guitar's got active pickups in it. So I'll turn the... Volumes down, so I'm not overdriving the stages. Yeah, it still works. Anyway, I'm the Astro30. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe down below. And you can always follow me on Facebook. The links are in the description. Anyway, this is the Astro30 saying, see ya. I'll see you in the next video. We don't need no crappy amplifiers.